everybody. It's Peggy, Emma, and Trina. We are here on day 12 of our Wheatgrass Diary, and today we are, we are, we are already on it. We're so excited we're on it. Um, as we were talking a little bit earlier, we, um, this, this hydroponic right here, now this is um, grown in dirt, so I wanted you to see that this is from the dirt, and I wanted you to see the color, and so I'm putting it in the juicer now, and juicing it, There's, and then this one is grown um, with Trina and Emma, and then this one we're growing at, at our house, and then this is uh, Trina and Emma's. But we were talking earlier, why is our grass a little bit greener than, than yours? And we decided, what was it? Um, we didn't do, we're learning, we're in the process, and so we did not uh, keep ours in the light. And so Joel recommended um, next time we'll try keeping ours in more um, sunlight. Yeah. Not direct sunlight, but... Um, like in front of a window yeah. or something. Yeah, yes. so we're learning. Yes. And fun. So, yeah, and so I have the Omega juicer that is good, grinds it really super fast. And but Trina, uh, they have this hand crank uh, juicer, and I didn't even know the name of it. So um, it is healthy. I think it's called Healthy Juicer. So this is Healthy Juicer, and uh, we you can get this juicer if you want this juicer. You can just let me know on Facebook, and we have that. We can provide that for you. And I think it's about uh, forty nine dollars. Um, I think it's about forty nine dollars. So they're gonna, they've been hand cranking their hydroponics. So now this is something we, we learned that pure, pure wheatgrass juice is when you can get the root and the um, grass together. So look at how beautiful that Trina and Emma's grass grew. I mean, I'm so excited about that, Emma. I, I applaud you, I, I mean, applause to you, how, how great you did that. Um, so they're gonna juice a little bit more of theirs so this is what, what I've read is 100% pure uh, wheatgrass juice because we're doing the roots. Now with the dirt, you can't get that. So I'm gonna turn the juicer on and I'm gonna cut it down here and I'm gonna put it in here. And what we're, what we're noticing is because um, we're just doing the grass and not the roots, we're gonna get a lot more this way than, the, than with just with the grass. And also nutrients. We're going to get much more nutrients from the hydroponic because we're using the whole shaft of grass and the roots. That's it's right. Exciting. That's right. That's right. So Emma, have you had fun growing the grass? Yeah. And mm -hmm. is, has it been hard or challenging at all for you? No. No. Can you um, can you guys think of anything that you you've learned that's kind of sticking out for you while you've been doing it? Um, it was just really fun to do the whole process. Joel and Peggy had um, uh, laid out um, a process for us step by step, and we just uh, did it, and it was fun to do it together. Okay. And then every day, um, Emma is great about remembering things, so she would water it every day. Or, Mom, did you water our wheatgrass? And um, the instructions are super easy, so it was really fun. And the best part is seeing how fast it grows. It's amazing. amazing. And it's completely clean. It's all in clean water, and um, there's no dirt, there's no bugs. It's right inside, and it's it's really completely healthy. That's great, Trina. I would think that because a lot of people ask me if if, they sh if I pull this out, if I should have to wash it, and I'm thinking I don't wash it because I'm putting fresh water on it every day. Every day. So I I don't wash it. Yeah. And it drains out of the bottom too, so it's not sitting in like stagnant water. It's yeah. nothing like that. It's clean yeah. water, and then it's draining. So the system that we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. And because one of the biggest things, uh, the complaints I hear about wheatgrass is the mold. So we're really concentrating on making sure that there's no mold in the systems that we're we're putting together. Okay. Let's let's go ahead and stop because I know we're down to four minutes already. And let's go ahead and taste this. This is the wheatgrass, and you can see. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it is really green, isn't it, Emma? Mm -hmm. So this is Emma's first time. So Emma, I'm just gonna give you a little bit. Okay. And we'll say cheers and blessings to the <laughs> to our guests. Thank you. And so I just say, Lord, thank you for this wheatgrass and bless it to the nutrition of our body. Okay, here we go. Cheers. Cheers. To our health. To our health. What do you think? It's really sweet. It's it sweet, is isn't sweet. It? <laughs> it is sweet. It's surprising. You wouldn't think that it would be. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to taste Okay, okay. And this one, the one that you gave us, is theirs. Just the grass. Since I've had yours, um, the hydroponic is much sweeter and much better tasting than the one in the dirt. Mm -hmm. Strong grass. Yeah. Okay, let's try yours. Let's right. see. Emma, it's good. 
She did better than I did because when I first did it, I had to have a chaser. I had to have water. <laughs> I had to have a chaser. <laughs> so we're going to take this apart and we'll take this little screen off. And you also, also can see how much lighter and green this is compared to the other one. So there's yours, Miss Emma. Okay. It's fun having you over to share the video with me. Thank you. And with That's everybody really else. Fun. Okay, so we're, we're, we're okay. paying for healthy, healthy bodies, right? Cheers. Again. Cheers again. Here's our second one. It's much more sweet. So and smoother. And smooth. Smoother, mm -hmm. smoother, isn't it? That one has more of a bitter aftertaste mm -hmm. um, that was done in the dirt, but this is no bitter aftertaste. Really smooth. It's smooth. It's I agree with you. Yeah. Okay, so thank you for uh, coming and being a part of, of day 12 of our Wheatgrass Diary. Thank you for um, thank being you. here today, and I want to thank you also for test marketing this and, and helping us get the word out, and, and um, our hearts, my heart's desire is for us to get healthy. Yes. Uh, my heart's desire is to get healthy physically, emotionally, and most of all spiritually. And so we, do you have a Bible verse at the end you'd like to say? Yes, Philippians 1.9, and it is... And it is my prayer that your love may abound more and more with knowledge and all discernment. So I pray for more knowledge and more discernment. So blessings, and we will see you tomorrow on day 13. Awesome. Bye. Blessings.